So I'm going to be going in with Burnt Orange by Anastasia, and I'm going to be using this as my transition shade. I'm just going to put this all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner and then blend upwards. And then I'm going to go in with Morocco and Early Bird by Makeup Geek, and I'm going to apply this a bit tighter below that first transition shade and just really use this to warm up that crease area. And then I'm going to be taking Americano, which is another Makeup Geek shade, and I'm going to put this in the outer corner. I'm really going to focus on making this into that outer V shape and then bringing it a little bit into the crease just to add some more definition and a little bit more depth to the eye. And then I'm going over all of that with a blending brush one more time before I apply the Overshadow by The Balm, which is in the shade You Buy, I'll Fly, and I'm applying that using the Eye Candy Glitter Adhesive and a synthetic brush. This glitter adhesive is amazing, I swear by it. It holds it on all day long and really shows the pigmentation off well. And then I'm going to line my upper and lower waterline with my Marc Jacobs liner, and then go in with the Makeup Geek Shadow in the shade Curfew, this beautiful purple shadow. I'm going to blend out my lower lash line with that. And I'm also going to blend it out using a bit of Morocco, which is one of the shades we used on the lid as well. Then I'm going to go back in with an angled liner brush and my eyeliner and apply this to my lash line. I'm going in with the brush rather than just going in with the pencil, just because it gives for more like precision since the pencil is kind of flattened out. And then I'm going to go in and darken up my outer corner once more with a little bit more of that Americano shade. And I'm going to go in and highlight my inner corner and my brow bone as well using Prosecco Pop by Becca. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite Huda Beauty lashes. These are in the style Samantha. I like to apply these with a tweezer and then once they're on and like the place that I want them to be, I like to go in and curl them. Not only does this kind of pull them down closer to your lash line, but it kind of just ensures that your lashes are going to stay there all night long. So I definitely try this out if you haven't before. I then quickly coated my lower lashes with some mascara before using my NYX lip liner in the shade Peekaboo Nude. I then went over that with Sellout by Too Faced, which is like my favorite lipstick ever. And then I just went back in with Mary Lou by The Bomb just to make that inner corner and that brow bone a bit lighter. And then this completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you want to see more of the videos that I've done in the past, check them out on my channel. Obviously, where else would they be? Also, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below what you guys would want to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Trust me, do you love me?